Well, chances are you can't log on to Facebook or Twitter or anywhere online without seeing people at each other's throats. But while much of the country might seem divided, one high school senior in Dallas believes he has found a way to get us talking again. Here is today's Geeky Bites. Students, families, and supporters of Cambridge. As the founder of the speech and debate team at the Cambridge School of Dallas, Luke Blazik has a lot to say. Our bright lights through many dark clouds. The problem is getting anyone outside these walls to listen. Yeah, hundreds if not thousands of kids with this you know, great skill of communication, of persuasion, of rhetoric, um, and, and really just dies in that room where they, they compete. For Luke, there had to be more to a great speech than just winning an award. To unite people rather than you know, divide. And Unfortunately, much of what's missing from our civil discourse is civility. Definitely. To change that, Luke appealed to a bigger audience, the internet. A movement of you know, high school students. His online platform Iraq. called Speak for yeah. America invites high school students to put their words um, to action. You know, kids can upload their speeches from here. By uploading four minute speeches, students advocate for a cause and then with the help of an organization called Volunteer Now, they get to work making it happen. Uh, mental health therapists at school, financial literacy classes, helping kids with speech disorders. The goal is to inspire the rest of us to set aside our bitter differences, join these kids and work together for our schools and our communities. If we have lots of enthusiastic young people out there basically advertising for volunteering, that just helps nonprofits expand their missions more and more. Because if we don't, this world will just be full of darkness and that's not what it's about. It's all about bringing out light in everyone. And everywhere. Tornado knocked all of us down. Relocated to a Dallas church after their school was destroyed by the October tornado, Cambridge students have spoken about the need to rebuild. The school is left on its own to find a new home for over 100 students. But even after all of that, Thomas Jefferson High School across the street was also destroyed. Impacted us more than we thought. And one student there uploaded a video encouraging the community to embrace him and his fellow classmates. To keep going. Luke says it's a perfect example of what Speak for America makes possible. You know, leaders always you know, rise from the wreckage and you know, use their words to inspire others to, to better tomorrow. And now it's on us to listen. Thank you. In Dallas, I'm Sean Giggy. Kind of as Sean alluded to, talking's the easy part. Listening, that's the hard part. Very much so, yeah, we don't do it enough.